Hey, it's been a while. Our last video was about the disastrous Gotham Knights TV show, which is still somehow going forward despite all the recent Warner Brothers cancellations. This time I'm going to be talking about the Gotham Knights game and some things that I want to see in it when it releases. Before we start our list, I'd just like to spend a moment to apologise for nothing over the last few months on the channel, but we're hoping to make a few videos again so make sure you're subscribed if you enjoyed this video. So far we've only seen the bat cycle being used for every character, which is cool but it would bring a bit more uniqueness to each player if they had more vehicles at their disposal. Having a set of Batman's vehicles you can pick and choose between instead of just having the bat cycle would be so much more fun. Just imagine driving along the streets of Gotham on the Batcycle or the Batmobile and looking up to see your friend flying above in the Batwing. Maybe I'm being a bit too optimistic for what the game's engine can handle, but I think giving the players that kind of experience should be what they strive for as developers. It even makes sense narratively since Batman left all of his equipment for the Bat family to utilise, so why are they just persisting to only use the Batcycle? <laughs> Oh. oh, oh god. Apart from the Court of Owls, we've only seen villains that have been used before in previous Batman games. Mr. Freeze and Harley Quinn were big characters in various Arkham games, whilst Clayface was only in the first two. I'm hoping we get some new villains alongside the ones already shown off. I think maybe like Kill Em Off could make a really good boss fight. Because, well, he can fly, and that could really test the abilities of the characters, since, you know, they have grappling hooks, Red Hood could fly. I think Tim Drake can teleport, there's some weird stuff. A big problem I have with the Avengers game is having all these characters at your disposal, but you can only have a portion of them active at the same time in one game. In Gotham Knights, there's four characters in the roster at launch, but you can only play as two of them at a time. I don't really get the point of limiting the experience, unless there's some crazy technical issues stopping them from giving a true four player experience. They really need to bring across the fact that it's only a two player game in their marketing because I literally wouldn't know this if I didn't read a Screen Rant article. If I'd only seen the trailers then I'd be pretty annoyed when I got the game and saw that it was only two player. Honestly, even though I haven't been entirely sold on the game from its pre-release footage, I would like to see more characters added to the game after launch. There was in fact a leak that suggested there would be years of post game content ahead and creative director Patrick Redding even said himself that there would be a post-launch lineup. And that was back in August 2020, so unless plans have changed since then, I'd like to see characters such as Batwoman, Batwing, Stephanie Brown, and Carrie Kelly. Called me as little Robin. N no, not that one. In the gameplay footage we've seen, a lot of the time the AI is running away from you or just not doing anything. Where is he going? WHERE IS HE GOING?! I'm not sure if they took inspiration from The Dark Knight Rises, but it's really not a good look when the AI are completely disengaged and sluggish. It's plausible that the mission was just set to a really low difficulty level to try and make whoever was playing the game in the clips seem really good at it, but it's also quite a common thing within the release gameplay to see the AI just wandering around and seemingly forgetting that they're in the middle of a fight. Hopefully this was refined before the game went gold, or even for a day one patch, otherwise I just don't see the combat living up to its potential. It's really weird thinking that the next Batman game is so close, but there doesn't seem to be much excitement and hype around it. So be sure to let me know if there's anything you want to see from this game that we didn't mention in the video, because it's releasing in less than two months from now. Hopefully we'll be back soon with some more videos, so I guess see you then. Thank you so much for watching, if you liked what you saw here today then please consider subscribing to catch our other content as and when it releases.